Welcome back everyone. Today we are uh, going to paint with watercolors, a uh, drawing that I really enjoyed to do. So every year I am used to draw um, one of, let's say one Greek uh, archetype goddess uh, or goddess, which is Lachesi. Lachesi is one of the three Moiras, uh, the three parque in Italian. Uh, they were basically responsible of dealing with the life of every soul, of every human, uh, before coming, before being born. So, um, and th between these three uh, sisters, uh, which one w was, I think, uh, uh, so one is Lachesi, uh, the other is Cloto, and the other is Atropos. The Atropos is the last one that cut, and basically it's the representation of death. But the one that I really feel connected with is uh, Lachesi, which is, <coughs> sorry, which is basically the goddess representing the necessity, the choice, uh, because Lachesi is the one that uh, hold the thread of life and, and ask to the mortal soul uh, the question, what do you want to be in the next life? And the soul, supposedly there is also uh, a myth about this between the Plato myth in the Republic, Republic, sorry, of Plato. So returning to Lachesi, Lachesi asks to the soul what you want to do, and the soul reply to the choice. So according to the necessity, probably, uh, of the soul or of the world that is waiting for that soul uh, to be born, uh, the soul decide. And and I've always been connected to this archetypal figure. Uh, because I like the mm, the idea of uh, um, of the, the the decision that we are we are responsible in certain ways um, and we decide. But obviously, this is a theory and this is just you know an archetype and a myth. And I really feel connected to the idea of necessity. Let's say like that. And for the first time in these illustrations, you cannot see. Uh, right now, because I'm painting the uh, right bottom corner, but then in the top corner there will be another figure, which is another minor god, the minor Greek god, which is Kairos, uh, which is a minor god of time, which is not Kronos, uh, the main god of time, but Kairos represents the right time, so represents the opportunity. So I. I I did one the first for the first time I did Kairos just uh, alone by himself and I never showed it but this time I decided to do because I I paint like and I do and I draw Lachesi every year this time I decided to do to paint them together and it worked very well so necessity and opportunity together let's say like that so why am I connected to this? Am I connected to this? Because uh, I'm not a polytheist uh, and I'm not a monotheist, but I like the um, um, theories of um, Carl Gustav Jung, which was a psychotherapist. And basically Jung's uh, main theories were focusing on analyzing the archetypes uh, and the symbols of humanity, both on an individual level with dreams analysis and on a collective level. Um, and basically he was analy analyzed in his work or the religions of the past, of the beliefs of the past and the present and, and he always tried to basically communicate the idea that in every era there is this necessity, this metaphysical necessity to express this sort of archetypes uh, into, yeah, to, into symbols or into figures so that there can be gods, there can be heroes, there can be alpha heroes, etc. And then he connect these to his psychotherapies or psychology theories of individual, which is the main one is the individuation process. So why I decided to do this illustration? Because I've been reading a beautiful book that is called Man and the Symbols, which is the, uh, which, uh, which prefacio is written by Carl Gustav Jung, which is amazing, and I really advise you that. And then there are also the authors that were connected to him. So Jung uh, basically he start talking about is um, the importance of dreams interpretation and the importance of for each individual 
to start a sort of individuation process. So what is the individuation process? The individuation process is a process of learning, understanding that each, in each individual should start to do and start to understand his own unconscious messages, which obviously usually are very obscure. So, and this is a work that has to be done it has to be started possibly this it has to be done every day because the unconscious try to communicate with us every day to the conscious you no know, part of us and basically in the individuation process jung say if we are able to harmonize unconscious and conscious action uh, at some point we will understand which is our true and authentic role in life without basically disharmonies or frictions uh, and how do you do this so you do this at tr through a symbols interpretation and in regarding to the individual to dream interpretation and so basically for Jung dreams were a way that the unconscious has to communicate with us and obviously um, according to Jung quite every dream has some kind of meaning or message for us so it's like a way that the unconscious try to communicate with us and trying to say what is maybe the next actions to do to harmonize and keep harmonizing our life basically to the reality and and in the first part basically in the, he um, Mm, explain very well this individuation process and the symbol is the importance of symbols the meaning of symbols and the importance of contextualize the importance of contextualize and I repeat uh, basically dreams which obviously a dream that is done by a person can say totally another thing by a dream that is dreamt by another person because they are different they are living different lives so uh, it's important to be able to contextualize and also, I mean, I'm not an, a psychotherapist, I'm an engineer, but I'm also a lover of psychology and philosophy, so I like to read Jung because it really opened my mind and it really let me discover things that I could never mm, analyze it, basically. I could never analyze it before. And also Jung decided to write his books because he wanted basically his theories to be known by everyone, not just by psychotherapists, but by every person. So basically I think his, uh, mm, his desire was to uh, give to every people a tool to keep analyzing and understanding it himself or herself or themselves. Uh, without the extreme necessity of a psychotherapist obviously if there is an, any need for that absolutely yes and that's why I really advise every book of Jung honestly but I am reading this and I have been reading also uh, psychology and alchemy I think was the name and which is very very nice too um, so after the, uh, the the first part there is the, mm, the the second part, which is written by Joseph Henderson, which is another um, basically uh, scholar, another uh, writer, that in that part he analyzed basically the importance of myth and mythologies and also fairies, fairy tales. And so Anderson tries to communicate the idea that along the heroes, every myth, every story that has been created, usually the stories with the heroes and uh, and gods. So, uh, for example, he does the example of the myth of Perseus, which goes inside the labyrinth to slay Medusa, so to slay the monster. Or, for example, the myth of the thread of Arianna, no, where Teseo go inside the, goes inside the labyrinth to slay the Minotaur. So basically Anderson tried to communicate the idea that this labyrinth is basically an allegory of, um, of the unconscious because the unconscious can be considered as a, an internal labyrinth where we consciously we should try to dwell, to go in and to um, explore in order to find both uh, the exit but in order to explore it in, until the 
interior part to un better understand herself. And the monsters in the mythology were basically slayed because the monsters could represent our fears, for example, that we have to face, that we have to slay, and that we have to overcome in order to uh, go out from the uh, labyrinths of unconscious, of things that we don't understand, that maybe give us sufferings, you know? <laughs> So the goal basically of the individuation process and understanding herself is basically according to Jung theories the harmonization of our parts basically the anima and the animus so the anima according to his theories was the feminine part and the animus was the masculine part and he was saying that basically uh, we have both parts it's like yin and yang you know because he was very influenced by oriental culture so the, let's say the, the receptive part and the, the active part and he was saying that the process of individuation is a, one of the goal is the harmonization of these two parts so for example for men usually there is a anima inside that always try to communicate with him and for the woman there is always the animus inside a sort of masculine part that is always try to communicate uh, and the harmonization of these two parts it can lead us to a an harmonization of our being in general so so basically this book and this first two part reminded me that I had to draw and paint Lacazie because I do it every year and this year I decided to to paint with Kairos with two archetypes basically uh, so necessity and opportunity and I really enjoyed uh, to paint them I was uh, cathartic was nice at the top part, basically, I had some problem with the violet watercolor because at some point I think I had too much water. So there is like a big white uh, spot, I don't know what I can say. And, but at the beginning I tried to force myself and to fix it, but it was impossible. So basically I said, okay, I have to accept it. I have to accept this error this mistake and then I let it dry I waited a little bit and then I went over and I experimented with a little bit of gouache and always violet color and I honestly I really like the violet color because it's basically the harmonization of red and blue so two opposites and and it gives very calming vibes so I really enjoy it and and this is it and this is it, I don't want to talk too much because otherwise the video will be too long and, and I've tried to um, contract and be short but the book is amazing and my preferred author is James Hillman which is basically was another psychotherapist that followed these theories, uh, the theories of Young uh, but he was, uh, I think, he, I don't know, I, I have some criticism to say also toward a little bit young but I it maybe will be part of another video but I can say that uh, for me James Hillman um, which is the protagonist of the first video also uh, that I did uh, which you can find in the top link here um, basically he, he follows uh, the Jung's theory of individuation process proposing other ideas um, so yeah so uh, uh, here again uh, if you can and if you want to challenge yourself in an interesting reading and if you want to try to understand better understand your unconscious part your hidden part uh, by yourself starting a journey of harmonization and a journey of learning uh, I really advise you to buy this book and to start this book and to try understand what Jung want to say with the individuation process and the importance of symbols and dream dreams so thank you very much and i hope you see i see you to the next episode and let's keep creating let's keep reading let's keep uh, doing things that we love and and let's try always try to keep uh listen our unconscious and and be be fulfilled and be happy in this life uh, hopefully with some effort we can do it Thank you again and see you to the next episode. Bye.